Welcome to a simple, step-by-step -step guide on testing Jin Shan concentration using the titration method. Let's dive right in. First things first, prepare reagents and equipment. You'll need Jin Shan concentration test reagents. The acetone of 100 milliliters. The distilled water of 1000 milliliters. A burette. A brown glass volumetric flask. A lab dropping bottle. An Erlenmeyer flask. Now we open the small yellow parcel presented by the manufacturer and you will see two small test tubes of powder reagent. We call the red one reagent A and the white one reagent B. Then we mix reagent A with 100 milliliters of acetone and reagent B with 1000 milliliters of distilled water. The color of reagent A after mixing is brown, while the color of reagent B is colorless. It is worth noting that the solution of reagent A must be stored in a brown volumetric flask to prevent direct sunlight. Otherwise, it will affect the accuracy of subsequent tests. Next up, you need to collect liquid samples containing Jin Shan. Then, draw 10 milliliters and transfer them to the Erlenmeyer flask. Now, we move on to perform the titration. Add five drops of reagent A solution to the liquid samples. After shaking evenly, observe its initial color, which is light yellow with the naked eye. Now, use a pollution-free burette to draw 10 milliliters of the B-test agent solution and start the titration. The titration process must be slow, the liquid sample being tested must be kept shaking, and the eyes should pay attention to the change of its color. When light red appears, stop titrating the B-test solution. Now, 10 milliliters of B-test solution has been titrated, but the color of the target liquid sample has not changed, so we draw another 10 milliliters of B-test solution for titration again. If you are not sure about the color change, you can slow down the titration, or stop and observe the color, and then resume the titration. When you feel that the light yellow is gradually turning into bright yellow, you must slow down, because at this time it may only take one or two drops of the test solution to be titrated, and it will be over. At this time, the bright yellow has disappeared, light red appears, and the titration is over. Record the B-test solution consumption as 15 milliliters. Let's review the color change from beginning to end. The calculation formula of Jinchan concentration, unit is per thousand, is 0.4 times B test solution consumption volume. In this test, 15 milliliters of test solution B was consumed, so the concentration of Jinchan in the final liquid sample was 6 per thousand. Lastly, dispose of all used materials properly. Though Jinchan is not a harmful substance, and needs to be handled responsibly. Sustainability, again, is paramount. And there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide to testing Jin Chan concentration using the titration method. It's simple, accurate, and gives you results you can trust. If you are interested in extracting gold in an environmentally friendly way, please subscribe to my channel or write to me at neilway9 at gmail.com. Thank you. Happy testing.